I uh, had a little hand in the original Back to the Future movie, and, and uh, our crew built uh, three DeLoreans for Back to the Future. And I'm uh, happy to be here with uh, wonderful people that still have uh, fondness for the movie and obviously for the most iconic movie car ever. This car belongs to Lenny Hocktile, and uh, it was built by Bruce so last name, Kobe, in Florida, and it's a terrific replica. All of the detail that's been put in here is virtually identical to exactly what we did 25 years ago. It's just an absolute dream. Um, I would have to be super hypocritical to pick it apart, and I'd have to trust my memory to do so, but this is just one of the finest reproductions I've ever seen, and I spent enough time in them to know. Back here, you've got all the parts that are identical. This is always a tough piece to find and get. That's absolutely well done. The paddle plugs, of course, which came out of the studio lighting department, are always authentic. This is the dream project. If you can make a good one of those, you've got a good car. We've got the Polaris hubcap. We've got the plutonium chamber, which is one of my favorite models. But on Lenny's car, he's done all the tricks here with the hook mode, as we used to call it, because without that, you couldn't go back to the future. And I think this is just a terrific car in every way, and Bruce, you did a great job. All the best. Kevin Pike, Back to the Future Special Effects Supervisor. Thank you so much. Lenny, thanks for having me on here. You've got a great car. Thanks.